Inside my tech shed lives a lot of stuff. From fishing gear to this gas tank, lizards. Holy shit. And a lot of PC parts that just don't fit in my house. The one thing I had long forgotten about was this old Zotac 560Ti. More so I forgot about how special this card really was. You see, this isn't the run-of-the-mill 560Ti you can get on eBay for $10. This is in fact the Zotac 560Ti Limited Edition sporting 448 cores over the usual 334. It has more cache, more bandwidth, a higher TDP, and pushes 10 gigapixels more than the base 560Ti. This card stops just short of being a 570 with only slightly less core count. Today I'm going to dust it off and test it against some of today's and yesterday's games at 1080p and see what we can get out of it. Before I get started, I'm giving away a brand new Black Myth Wukong desk pad to one random viewer. All you have to do is hit like and leave a random comment to enter. That's it. Now let's get started. So it's been several years since this card has seen power. We gave it a thermal paste refresh before we began this odd adventure. At some point I must have taken off the shroud. I can't find it anywhere, but it shouldn't affect performance very much. Let's test some games first. We start with Cyberpunk 2077 and... Error. And that doesn't run. How about Battlefield 2042? Nope. Not happening. Okay, Fortnite. Fortnite runs, and it looks kind of ugly, but it's running 35 to 55 frames per second at 1080p low settings. Somewhat playable, but not enjoyable. Next, we'll try GTA 5, the benchmark with mixed settings, again 1080p. And it looks like we're getting decent frames at about 110 to 160 FPS. It looks weird though, like skinny. These older cards are not great at HD resolutions. We do have room to turn up the quality on this though. Next, let's try some Rocket League. With mixed settings, it doesn't look too bad and is running at a decent frame rate too. 150 to 180 frames per second is something we could absolutely turn the quality on for a higher fidelity experience. For a flashback, how about some Half-Life 2 Deathmatch? We'll max everything out for this one. Look at that, very nice frame rate and just under 300. It looks great too. The 560 Ti 448 really shines in this game. <laughs> the F1 2018 benchmark runs at a playable 50 to 60 frames per second and doesn't look as bad as I thought it would in this run. I'd probably go down to 720p to play this seriously. Let's try a GPU benchmark now. We tried to load Furmark, but it just keeps crashing. We'll go with Passmark 3D Bench instead. At stock speeds, we run Passmark three times and we get an average score of 2207. Overclocking the card 100 megahertz on the GPU and 100 megahertz on the memory results in a Passmark score of 2312. Not bad. GTA crashed in the middle of the overclock benchmark and at this point I just stopped testing. This is a 13 year old video card. It had its day and while it still can play some new titles, it can't even compete against some of today's integrated GPUs. At most it could serve as an emergency display adapter if you had nothing else that worked. This was once a special little GPU and will hold many memories of gameplay with friends and family, but it's going back to the shed now with that lizard. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to hit like and subscribe and leave a random comment to win the Black Myth Wukong mouse pad. We'll choose a winner before Christmas. Thanks again and goodbye.